copper and zinc prices jumped up on Thursday morning under the impact of higher than expected US September CPI. Meanwhile, China recorded the steepest monthly copper inventories drop since at least 2030. As for zinc, we have power rationing in China and now Nearstar announced that it will cut 15% of zinc output, supporting base metal prices. In addition, the dollar index fell down, also keeping up the metals market. Copper was up today morning due to refined copper inventories in Shanghai bonded warehouses fell by almost a third in September, the deepest monthly drop since at least 2013. Meanwhile, according to data released by China's General Administration of Custom, China's imports of copper rebounded in September and the demand improved which supported the copper prices. Zinc was boosted by news about Newstar announced that it will cut 50% of zinc output at three European smelters, which is expected to affect the output because of the rising power costs. Meanwhile, smelters in Guangxi are still subject to power rationing in October. In the US, the consumer price index increased 0.4%, as for data released on Wednesday. The report will likely reinforce the Fed's inclination to soon start tapering its asset purchases. The US dollar index increased briefly but tumbled due to decline in the yield rates. Regarding the White House news, President Joe Biden on Wednesday set a goal to address long-standing weaknesses in the US supply chain. And Federal Reserve policymakers again said the central bank could taper its monthly bond purchases in the mid of November or mid December. And other related news, there are still raising fears around China's emigrant group. And on the other side, Japan is quite optimistic on economic outlook, saying its recovery will become better from the year end onwards. As for other commodities, oil prices climbed on Thursday, reversing previous losses, and gold jumped $35 an ounce on Wednesday evening. Thank you for watching me. See you next time.